Hi, Trisha here. Um, in this video series, we're going to have a look at Christmas card ideas. This video is all about simple and fun. So let's get started. Okay, we're going to have a look at some watercolour Christmas cards. Um, I've got some watercolours out here already. Uh, to tell you the truth, these are just left over from some of the projects that I've done. Um, so uh, I've got some uh, like Rose Madder, I've got the yellow, um, I've got like an Ultramarine I think here, a Sap Green, um, uh, indigo so yeah I've got a bit of a collection here um, obviously if you want to use something specific then clean your palette off and go specific with your colors um, but as we as I show you each project um, you might want to change your palette as we go I'm going to work um, I'm going to work quite tiny so I've got quite a few small little brushes here um, I've got um, a number eight here. Um, that's probably going to be one of my biggest brushes. I've got another number eight, but it's um, a liner brush. If I show you, so it goes quite fine. But then I've got a teeny, teeny, tiny brush here that does tiny, tiny fine lines. Um, so I'm going to work quite tiny for me, anyway. Some of you might have even tinier brushes. Then go for those. Um, I'm going to work on watercolour paper and I've got several pads to work on um, but you can buy um, pre-made cards so this is from a, a pack of cards with envelopes and they've got a little score on I have to say that these ones um, that come like in a pack unless you're buying quite expensive ones these are only 240 grams so they're fine just for a tiny bit of water um, on there but not too much and they're quite floppy ones so I might either use these cards um, you can get them in all different sizes this was just the first one that I pulled out this is um, 105 by uh, sorry 105 by 210 millimeters this one um, so it's quite a long card um, obviously you can get a5 ones a6 ones all sorts of different sizes um, so buy the one that's the most appropriate to you I've got absolutely tons of different ones but what I might end up doing is painting on my watercolour paper and then cutting out and then mounting that onto my card. Your other option is to actually cut watercolour paper, so get some large sheets of watercolour paper and cut those to the right size um, to fold into your own cards. So that's your other choice. Um, I'm not really going to go much more into card making during this I'm just going to show you some different images so hopefully um, you can uh, have a look around and see uh, see what sort of cards you can get that's it um, pencil there we go outside <laughs> um, pencil for sketching if you want a pencil for sketching different projects have got some slightly different things so if you're watching the whole the whole series of them um, then I'll highlight any extra materials that you need for those projects but that's about it really your bog standard setup all right we're gonna have a go at a really fun cute one um, one that you can do with um, children as well um, I'm just gonna use my masking tape here but you just want something that's a circle so we're just gonna make a circle I think this is probably a bit big but there we go Okay, and then we want to do a circle here, try and make it circular, and a little triangle on here, there we go, yep, 
Can you see that? I hope you can. So we are going to use our brown. It's up to you how, uh, how dark you want to do this, really. Just gonna take my brown here and just create a nice edge just going around that eye a little neater. There we go. Right, then I do my beak. Yeah. I'm gonna do a couple of legs. up just because I've made these quite dark I've got myself a black pen here I'm just going to come in on that eye Mr. Robin, what big eyes you've got. Went a bit crazy there. And then I'm going to come in to my red here. And I'm going to put you a little red breast on here. And I'm going to make this in a... Well, I'm going to attempt to make it in a heart shape. But And there's our lovely little Robin. Shall I put him some little feet on as well? Maybe I'll put him some feet on, that might help him stand up a little bit more, isn't it? Do you want to stand up? There we go. Ha <laughs> ha Done. Really simple that one is and lots of fun. 
Right, our next one is a super, super easy one. It's so much fun to do. But for this one, we need masking tape and we need white watercolour. Um, it's a bit of a weird one. This is most packs of watercolour will come with a white watercolour, but it's actually um, uh, a gouache or a gouache. <laughs> um, it's a gouache so it's actually an opaque colour it's not a translucent like our watercolour so it's got like a chalk or zinc compound in to, to make it opaque but we want white and we need a toothbrush any toothbrush probably not an electric one though but an, an old fashioned toothbrush is what we need if you haven't got a toothbrush but you've got a really sort of stiff brush one of your painting brushes that's really stiff then that's fine as well Okay, find the end of my tape. Here we go. So, first off, we want to make a. I'll do it this way, actually. We want to make a rectangle. Whatever size you want it to be, it doesn't really matter. Then we want to take a piece across to go across sort of the middle, two thirds and a third. But what we want to do is we want to rip this one in half. There we go. So we've got quite a jaggedy edge. And then we're going to lay this down. overlap this because I only want a small gap through. There, can you see? So when I paint over here and here, I'm going to have this area that won't get any paint on, but the edge is going to be quite loose. Right, so you can use a, a decent sized brush for this. I'm just going to wet the whole lot. Make sure that your tape is pressed down firmly around the edges so I'm just gonna wet everything off and I'm gonna go for the uh, purpley colour here violet The only reason that I've wet the whole thing over is that I want a nice smooth wash. So I want, you know, I don't want it really liney or anything. I'm going to take a little bit of this purpley red. I don't know if you can see this up here. Sorry, it's like a, a ready purple there. I'll let that go in as well. There we go. And then I've got a cerulean down here. It's entirely up to you what, what colour you want yours to be. Any colours whatsoever. This is definitely something that you can do in other paints as well. You could do this with your acrylics. Okay. And then we just wait for it to dry. Um. <laughs> I'm sure I'll probably do something magical that will make it appear in a minute all dry. Okay, so. <laughs> Okay, so we're dry now. So let's take our white. And some clean water. Let's get this a little bit runny. There we go. 
There we go. I'm going to take our toothbrush and dip it in. So we pick it all up on our toothbrush and then we're just going to run our thumb across the top of the toothbrush. Okay, so now I'm just going to dip my tiny, tiny brush and where I've got this bit of a splodge, I'm going to try and pick that one out and I'm just going to turn it into some little stars. Wait for this to dry really, don't be as quick as I am. And I'm going to go slowly because this is still a bit damp and I don't want it to rip all my paper. Oh, there, see, like that has. There we go. So there's our finished one. It's just quite a sweet little one to go on the front of a card. A little sparkle. If you've got some um, gold or silver pens, you might want to come in there and do your little stars in that instead. But nice, cute little card. Okay, this is a really sort of stylish design that we're looking at. Um, I've done the put masking fluid all the way around these um, as you can probably see but um, I've just made little triangles and traced them down onto the page three by three um, in in rows put the masking fluid all the way round um, so it will keep that clean um, and then we can paint all over the place and then we'll get nice crisp edges um, I did uh, think about using masking tape but um, there really wasn't space in between I should have pushed these rows up a little bit higher um, maybe space them out a little bit more so it might be something worth thinking about if you're going to use masking tape uh, I'm going to use this uh, liner brush yeah um, it's just going to be really fine um, and uh, I'm going to mix up here I've got um, a Viridian green, which is quite a, ah, a bit too much of a colour. Um, but I'm going to take some of my uh, bluey indigo into it and mix those together to kind of create sort of a tealy blue onto this Viridian. So I still want to keep it greeny, but not quite that that viridian green i don't really like it at all um, so let's see if we can get like a really deep sort of christmasy tealy color um, you can do anything on here we're just going to put in each of the triangles we're just going to put a different sort of mark or line design um, and we want to sort of space them all out so you haven't got the same sort of thing next to each other so the first thing i'm going to start off with is straight lines oh, straight ish lines um, uh, and i'm just going to do them across here you can see and, uh, oh. <laughs> 
Anyway, oh, straight lines across there. Um, I'm just going to put another one at the bottom here just to make sure that I catch the very bottom of that triangle and the very top there. Okay, straight lines somewhere else there. I'm going to go diagonal here. And you see the point to put in the masking fluid down that you can go right over the edges of each of your triangles you haven't got to worry about stopping and starting go right over the edges um, and then when we take the masking fluid off we'll have really crisp edges hopefully started with straight lines. Seems to be the only thing that I can't do is a straight line. I'm sure this will all add uh, to the individual bespoke design of the Christmas tree. Maybe I should stop talking while I'm painting. here actually that will hold a bit more paint and I'll get a fatter line rather than a very thin line and I'm going to do like sort of a crunches I'm just curling this to make sure I collect it all up I'm going to whoosh here we go ah, okay. there we go a bit better I think with a thinner one it will do a whisk away here we go, let's do some branches on this one there, like layers of tree. Just like bouncing the brush up and down, so I'm keeping the tip on the page and bouncing the, the belly of the brush up and down. I think I could probably, but let's try it now the other way. And bounce the tip up and down a bit more. Yeah. <clears throat> get that top bit. Make sure I get all those tips in. Uh, oh, should have thought about this diagonal there, straight there. Go to a straight line you want here, have I? Yeah, that horizontal one. It's like Sudoku, this is trying to work out what, what I can't have, something like that one maybe. Wiggle, wiggle. Hmm. Maybe this would be better with the smaller brush, I'm not sure. Keep going, there you go, that's better. I'm going over on the tip, maybe. Okay. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, that's better. Sort of getting it, there we go. Again. Got two left now. What am I going to do now? Can't do a straight one. Can't do a diagonal one. Oh. <laughs> tra la la, tra la la. I'll think of something in a second. Oh, I 
do? What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do here? What am I gonna do? I wanna leave that centre one. A mountain top in the doing kids drawing. There you go. Okay. on that they couldn't in there. Mm. Never mind. Okay, I'm gonna take uh, this sort of rose madras and create a purpley pink colour. I'm gonna do this one with baubles. Okay. Add a bit of a, a splash of colour into the middle of this one here. I'm just doing these circles. I kind of want them quite random, all different sizes. It doesn't seem that random though, does it? No, I don't know. Okay, be careful that they're not really wet. Because so I'm going to put these ones now. If you want to, you can leave one lot to dry and then come in with once the, those purpley red ones are dry, then I could come in with these green ones. But as you have probably noticed, I do not have the patience to wait. I guess you could let them bleed into one another. It might be quite fun if you did all different colours and then you kind of just touched up against each other. They would sort of bleed into each other a little bit. Make it part of your special design. some gaps with some tiny little ones. But I suppose they look random. They're not like they're filling up the gaps. up to the point that I haven't sort of missed that point so I'm just going over the masking fluid and the paper there okay I'll make sure those bottom lines are caught as well right there we go and then we're done leave that to dry and we can peel it off okay I got so excited I started to peel the masking fluid off uh, before I press record, so <laughs> so you're halfway through my reveal now. All right, let's get this last bit off here. There we go. 
there we go so make sure that everything is dry before you start taking your masking fluid off and before you start doing this bit going over with the rubber I'm just doing this bit with the rubber just because I've still got a little bit of my oops see there my um, pencil sketch on There we go, uh, really fun and uh, really simple. Give it a go. Don't forget, visit my website for your art resources, follow me on social media, like this video and subscribe to my channel.